Hey everybody and huge welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a recording from an Instagram live that I did this evening um, with three of my travel business partners. So we, we, te we were testing out the new four-way Instagram lives that you can do. We're talking all about how the travel business that we're all partnered with isn't just a business, um, it's actually a community and how we actually all met through this business and without each other we would literally would not have survived lockdown. Like we've all been each other's rocks. We actually met up in Belfast together back in September when the restrictions were a little a bit easier in the UK um, and yeah just the, just the community that we have as part of our uh, travel club collective team is incredible so um, yeah this 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 video is about 20 minutes and I was talking about how you know our, our experiences as a team and basically how this business has allowed us to connect with so many like-minded people and bring us all together so I hope you enjoy <laughs> Hey Liz! Hey. hey! Awesome! So this is our full way of the day. Um, so we, we wanted to talk about today, as I mentioned earlier before everyone sort of joined me on, and um, we wanted to talk about how this... Uh, oh, I'm zoomed out again now. Have you? We've all zoomed out again. Yeah, I've zoomed out. The better angle. So we wanted to... We wanted, yeah, literally. So we wanted to talk about today, as I mentioned at the start, um, how this how this travel business has brought us together because we literally all met each other through this business didn't we like we didn't know each other before we, we didn't know each other at the, start, at the start of this year did we like what, what, i can't remember when you guys joined the team it, it was around this time or a little bit later yeah, this year wasn't it i joined in july but i know brick started a wee bit earlier before me but yeah it was july last year the whole year's gone so quickly already yeah. Yeah. Can't really Pardon? either mayor yeah and then lizzie when, when were you liz again Yes, yeah, so I was about April last year yeah. as well. So literally, this time last year, like I literally just got back to the UK. I was the only one out of all of us in the business at the time. Just got back to the UK, and then obviously my business grew quite a lot during this time. I met all of you guys um, because you're obviously from this business, and it's been absolutely incredible. And then since then, we all managed to meet up in Belfast, didn't we? Which was which was a really awesome trip. So we actually, so me, Lizzie, and another girl called Rose um, um, in, in the team went um, met up together and went to Belfast because Zara and Brooke are in Belfast with, with a whole load of the other girls in the team as well. Um, we were originally all going to try to go to Spain together, but obviously with, at the time, um, the COVID restrictions, Spain actually fell through. So we were looking at other options and I, and I managed, and I saw the flight change uh, to potentially go to Belfast. And I, and I messaged Rose and Lizzie and thought, I've never been to, Bel never been to Northern Ireland. What do you guys think about it? Well, yeah, you go on, then why not? It was a hell of a lot colder than it would have been in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the weather's actually, not the best here <laughs> yeah. but it's actually a really really fun trip um and we, we all even though there was still the wall of six at the time i think it was how many of us was, was there like maybe 10 of us we had to sit in two groups didn't we have we had to have two tables yeah. there's only six for a table uh but it's so nice to actually meet everybody um and i think we formed you know a friendship that we would never have without this business so I, I, I'm, I'm really really grateful for that but I'm going to pass over to um, Lizzie to talk a little bit about you know your, your experience of the trip um, and just go from there really. Yeah no so for me it was just really nice like obviously we we're going to go to Mallorca which I'm absolutely gutted didn't happen uh, but it was really cool to go to Belfast um, like for me, I always find that a lot of my friends don't like traveling that much. So since I joined the business, now I have so many people who are just always like, should we go here? Should we go there? And we've already planned like Iceland and um, Malta and people are going to Texas and so many other places. Um, so it's just really cool to be able to have so many people to go on holiday now with. I know, literally, I, I feel like you always message me your travel plans, I'm like, can I come? Or like, or like, I tell you what I'm doing, you're like, can I come with you? And we're literally just always jumping in each other's plans, because why not? Yeah, I think it's crazy, because like we say, Bex, like, I didn't even know you last year, but I think I pretty much speak to you every single day now. Yeah. <laughs> even if it's just like the odd message. <laughs> But, but the thing is, we don't talk like some people. I think some people think that we we'll all talk about it's business. It's like our oh, business, but we don't. We, we literally have right, like we, the other day, me and you were talking about Amsterdam, and then we were talking about something completely un, un business and untravel related. Like we, we, we thought it's not just about you know forming relationships to do with travel and travel business. I mean, obviously that's really important, and we always uh, work on building each other up, and we have calls to try and lift each other up and training and everything. But we literally just have conversations like honestly without you guys and everyone else in the team this lockdown would have been a hell of a different story like you literally got like, helped me get through lockdown and i'm really grateful for that 
Yeah, and it's just so easy to find so many like-minded people in this business as well. Like, I literally met you at the airport when we landed in Belfast <laughs> and then we just spent like, what was it, five, six days together. We met everyone else and we just had so much fun. Yeah, exactly, 100%. Oh, what about you, Zara? Like, how, how, like, how was... How was meeting us? Did you, did you enjoy meeting us? And, yeah, you know, I really did enjoy it. Like, as I said before, I only started in, Ju in July last year. And, you know, I think we only went in September. So it was only like two months that I had been in the business. And it was actually way out of my comfort zone to have done something like that. Because I was originally thinking, like, should I go? Should I not? But I am so, so glad that I went. Because before that, I wouldn't really, because I didn't know that many people. Like, I only really knew Brooke and another girl. Um, that came as well but as for everybody else like I didn't know anybody so it was really really nice to go and meet new people and you know I was really really nervous but I'm so glad that I pushed myself to go and you know push myself out of my comfort zone to actually do it because I really really enjoyed it and it definitely did bring us all together as well so yeah it was, it was brilliant. and it's always it's always really weird that like, when, you, when you meet someone online and then you meet them in person so obviously I met um, Caitlin, who's who obviously introduced Brooke, who obviously introduced you. Yeah. Um, but I'd never even met Caitlin before we, we went to this, you know, to this event, and so there was more of Caitlin's scene there. And I'd never met Lizzie. I'd met Rose once. Um, we met. We went out for lunch together when I was in Bath because she, she was in the area, um, which again was really nice. But other than that, I was like, yeah, let's book a, book a trip. I, we I, when, we yeah. get, when we get to Malta. I never met half the people in the team. We've all met online. We've all spoken. We're all really good friends, but we've never actually met. It's so cool when you, when you actually put it all together and, have, and, and you meet everybody. Cause it's like you've known each other for ages. Yeah, exactly. And I think it brought us so much closer as well. And, um, you know, because a lot of us speak all the time now. And before that, you know, um, I had only really known Brooke. So it was really nice to, you know, expand and meet everybody else in the team. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. And, you know, the community is absolutely fabulous as well. Like, as Lizzie said, like, you know, we're always planning our next trip and you're never stuck, you know, for anybody going on holiday with because, like, I wouldn't really have a lot of people that would really go on holiday that much. You know, it's only me and my boyfriend, really, that would go away. So it's nice to have, like, a girl gang that we can all do things together and um, go to different places. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what the future holds and the lovely places that we're all going to get together. Yeah, literally. And I love how everyone kind of is the product of the product. Obviously, we, we're we travel agents and we're tra travel business owners and we sell travel but we, I mean, you don't have to travel a lot to do this business because travel sells no. itself. But the fact that, the, you know, there's so many amazing offers that we, that we have in, in the industry, us as the agents are like, well, that offer's amazing. I'm booking that for myself because we're like, well, we're getting, amazing, yeah. we're getting an amazing offer and we're earning commission back. So everyone's like, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. And it's, yeah, like you exactly. said, everyone wants to travel all the time. Like before this business, I only really went away maybe two or three times a year. And, you know, after joining this, I want to go away all the time now because you do see the amazing deals, you know, and things that you can get. So, yeah, the, the amount of places that I have on my bucket list now are getting longer and longer by the day. Like ever growing. <laughs> I can't even explain how many places are on mine. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. It was incredible. So well, I'm going to pass to Brooke. I, know this, I, I want to, this is actually Liz's first live as well and Brooke's first live. So huge congratulations for jumping on because it is such a big step. I know when me and Zara did our, her first live the other week, you know, it's, it's such a huge step, but it's awesome. Um, so Brooke, um, obviously I knew I knew you through Caitlin and then um, I met Zara through you. Um, it's just been a one massive matrix <laughs> of, of friendship. <laughs> so to tell us obviously your experience of how you how you enjoyed Belfast if you enjoyed meeting us if you didn't that's fair enough um, and how this business has you know kind of <laughs> brought you connections yeah no I really enjoyed it I thought it was going to be awkward at the start because so like literally never met these people all my friends were like why are you going out for dinner with 12 people <laughs> like even like I are in you Caitlin but I'd never actually probably met up with you before like I knew you from just seeing you as a bike kind of thing not actually like we were never being like friends growing up so um I was going out it was just a bit like scared and then when we arrived it was completely natural because like, we'd obviously been on zoom calls quiz nights all the time with each other and it was just like meeting up with friends that you've been friends with for years like there was nothing weird about it at all it was just fun and yeah. then obviously COVID added to us trying to go to a bar that we could all get sitting together <laughs> <laughs> We sat as on like literally they're like oh you, you can come in but you've got to sit at different tables and like yeah that's fine we've, we've done that we've done that in every other every other restaurant and then they sat as like literally two opposite ends of the beer garden we were like I remember when I walked in I, I recognised you straight away like, did, you, did you come in with Zara I know that you were yeah. together um, yeah but, but obviously I, I, I well I never met both of you but I've spoken to Brooke a little bit more than I spoke to you originally Zara hadn't I um, yeah yeah 
I instantly there was no like, you know, knew who you were, and like, obviously everyone just started talking like, like you said really easily. Yeah, I felt like it was quite an easy conversation to have because we all knew each other. And then yeah. didn't you give me like didn't you give me a ride home? Yeah, I gave oh, you ride back to the hostel. I say home, it was the hostel. <laughs> yeah, we're staying in the place I used to live in. Beside, I used to live beside the hostel you were in. Yeah. Literally. And then Jess has just put a comment. Jess has said her Wi-Fi's been playing in and out. But me and Jess actually met up. So Jess um, lives in Wor- near Worthing, near, near where I live. Um, and we've met up. Again, you know, she's joined the team. We've got talking. And I found out that she lives near me. We've, got, we've, gone, we've gone for a walk a couple of weeks ago, actually. It was really nice. Um, there's another girl in the team that I met up with um, back when res- bars and restaurants were open. And we had, we had lunch together. Have you guys met up with anybody else? Um, yourselves um, well we're wanting to actually whenever covid kind of calms down a wee bit we actually want to get over and see you again so we're just kind of waiting for everything to settle <laughs> down before we go and do that <laughs> yeah for me um because i didn't really know rose beforehand like and we went to school together but we didn't really have anything to do with each other in school um and then we got talking about this business because she qualified as an independent travel agent and being in the travel industry is something I've always been interested in. So um, we ended up talking about it and it turns out she actually lived like walking distance from me as well. So all the way through lockdown, we'd just go for like social distant walks or just go and sit on the grass field opposite my house and like work on our businesses. Yeah, I love that. And um, oh, um, what was I going to say? Because it's weird, isn't it? You, you, you were saying about not really knowing Rose, but also knowing Rose, and like Brooke mentioned, not really knowing Caitlin, but also knowing them. I, I feel like when you when you do join this business, so many people kind of come out of the woodwork that you maybe you haven't spoken to in ages, like someone that you went to school with that you haven't spoken to in ages, or someone that you maybe met on holiday six years ago and still have on Facebook and have forgotten about. Like people come out of the woodwork and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot that like, I, I know you, or I forgot that like we're connected yeah, and, it, and we're on the team. It's actually really surprising how many people that are interested that you would never have thought of before like as you said like a couple of girls that I would have known from years ago have you know sent me a wee message and been like you know can you tell me a wee bit more about it and things like that so I've definitely noticed that so it's crazy how this business actually brings people together yeah and I think and there's no judgment as well like some people often think that I don't know, maybe you didn't get along with someone at school and you have to be, you have to not get along with them for your entire life. But the amount of times that, you know, people, the, people I didn't really speak to at school or maybe I thought didn't like me at school have actually messaged me and been really interested. Like, you know, there's no judgment. Everyone just kind of gets along and helps each other. And do you know what I mean? It, it cre- creates a community, no matter oh, definitely. how you know each other or where you're from or whatever. whatever. I think that's what I like about this business. Like everyone just wants to live their best life and everyone's just so supportive. It's not a case of if someone else does well, then you're like, you're going to do badly as a result of cheering someone on. Do you know what I mean? There's not like really any jealousy or anything like that. It's just like, you just always each other's cheerleaders. Yeah, literally everyone's bringing everyone's bringing each other up. Like, and, and I, and I'm sure Brooke, Brooke would agree as well. It's so nice to connect with the wider team. So obviously, Lizzie. So Lizzie, te- even though you're technically in Brooke's team, you're kind of in the wider team rather than the direct team. But everyone's we're all, all of this life together now, all connecting. Like, um, don't, you, don't you think, Brooke? It's really nice to have, uh, you know, everyone supporting everyone, not just not just someone in your team. You, you support the wider team as well. And it's definitely like a big family constantly. That group chat every day, like my phone's just blowing up. Everyone just giving each other so much support. Just the jokes going on in there. That, like every day, us talking on that it was so funny. I know, I love it. I, I, I love it. The, the group chat gets me through, I feel like. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, I probably know you like mission all without the group chat. Yeah, I know what you mean 100%. 100%. And I feel like, as well, <laughs> if, if I'm ever you guys will probably, probably agree, especially in lockdown, if you're ever having like a bit of a bad day or a murk day or you just feel a bit pants, you can just put one thing in the group chat and you've got like a million people messaging you, like supportive yeah. stuff or jokes to try and cheer you up or whatever it may be. Yeah, everybody's constantly trying to lift everybody up. It's brilliant. Like you never have a down day in this business. <laughs> oh, and do you, know, do you know another thing I love? I love how everyone comes from like completely different backgrounds and like different experiences. So for example, like Bex, you've been traveling to all these different places and just lived in New Zealand recently. And like you guys are over in Belfast. I would have never met you guys in Belfast. 
Do you know what I mean? And everyone's just come from different backgrounds and careers. And yeah, like as much as I wanted to travel all of, all of the UK, obviously COVID, COVID bringing me back home here has allowed me to do that. I never really saw Belfast as a place that I was like, yeah, I've got to go to Belfast. But then obviously the team grew there and I was like, I've got to go to Belfast, you know? Maybe you're just isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I'd like, to, I'd like to go back when we can actually go out properly because apparently, according to you guys, it's quite a decent night out. Oh yeah, Belfast is a fab night out without COVID. <laughs> yeah. So we we'll definitely, we'll definitely have to... Uh, Definitely have to, to reschedule that, but I mean, we've got all the time in the world now that oh, now yeah. it's starting to end. Yeah. Um, there was one thing I was going to ask as well, um, in terms of um, like community and things like that. Don't don't you? I mean, especially with uh, use our because you've got a, a nail business as well, haven't you? You you do nails. Yeah. I don't know if you found, but I've definitely found at least it's helped me out with it as well. A lot of people in this in this business, they, you know, they don't come into this business and just do this business straight away. They build it up around their full time jobs okay. or around other things. And people are always so willing to share their skills or share their, um, um, what's it called, like expertise, let's say, from, yeah. other, from other jobs, whatever it may be, with everyone in the team. Like, I'm pretty sure if, you, if you're in the UK, you do my nails if I asked you to. Oh, yeah, definitely. Of course. <laughs> I would bring all my stuff over, especially for you, Bex. <laughs> And it's not, yeah, that, that's what I, I love it. It's, it's not just, again, I, I can't emphasize enough how it's not, how it, it literally is not just a travel business. We don't just have this one, we do, we, we do travel business, we, we, we book travel, that's it. Like it's so much more than that. Tomorrow night we've got a call all about, um, you know, in, inner work. So really um, working on ourselves internally to, to grow and become the best version of ourselves, which again is good for business, but it's, it's outside of the travel business. Yeah, it's like box. personal growth. Yeah, because I've definitely benefited from those calls as well. Because, you know, before I would have started this business, I would have never even dreamt of coming on here and speaking and showing my face on Instagram, never mind doing a live. So they definitely are beneficial. I'm so, so grateful for them as well. Like, absolutely amazing. Exactly. Like, like Brooks, like you were saying, this is your, I, I remember before you came on, you were like, mm. I was like, come on, girl, you got this. And now you're on. And like, yeah, okay, it may be a bit scary, but it's stepping up out the comfort zone and I, I bet like when you finish this live you'll be so glad that you did it because you yeah. know it, nothing nothing good ever and it ever wasn't scary really very had you motivating me so <laughs> Brooke actually left um left work and George joins on this didn't you yeah dedication <laughs> <laughs> for a job because I'm like the graduate so trying to get full-time scary when when do you when when do you actually I think you probably told me before but when do you actually finish I know, I know you've been quite busy with because uh, I know you're a bit on the, on the edge about Malta because of like exams and stuff when do you actually when's the final date last exam so my final actual lecture was today but I was in work so I didn't really do that um, <laughs> last exam was 11th of May and then hopefully Malta hopefully fingers May. crossed <laughs> not in the UK just come to the UK it's fine we'll just, well not the UK you're in the UK come to England <laughs> because there's so many of us going that all the flights for like I think four days up to the start of the event are all sold out from literally anywhere in the UK going to Malta so yeah that's the thing that's the thing we'll rent a boat, <laughs> rent a boat. We'll just swim swim over <laughs> <laughs> I actually would to be fair just to get away <laughs> I would <laughs> well I mean we've been talking for like almost 20 minutes now has anyone got anything that they want to sort of say let's see if you've got any questions quickly to answer I, mean, I don't think I've seen any questions come in but just want to check but if anyone's got anything they want to say then feel free before we end the call oh Jess wants another walk with you I know we, <laughs> we, we all need to go on another everyone I love walking yeah um, you're living in my grandma so uh next time I visit <laughs> I'll, I'll go for a walk with your grandma that's fine I'll, I'll get her involved in the business <laughs> I don't think we have any questions. Just people saying hello, really. So yeah, I mean, has anyone got anything they want to sort of any anything else they want to share in terms of how awesome this business is and how awesome the team is? <laughs> no, Every, yeah, it is yeah. awesome. We all know that. Yeah, every everyone knows it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We've said that. We've said that enough. Jess said. Jess said um, to bring to bring you Nan along, Liz. So we'll we'll go knock on her door and then bring her out. She'll probably give you a fiver when you say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, it's awesome talking to every to you guys. Um, I'm hoping to make this like, like a weekly a weekly thing. So if you ever want to jump on again and just have a chat, I'll probably do like travel either travel Tuesday or travel Thursday, just to talk about something travel related, but literally also just to have a good chat, really. Yeah, um, you'll be definitely seeing more of us, specs anyway. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for jumping on, and I will speak to you all again soon. Yes, thank you so much. Bye. Bye, everyone.